take two. We're very excited about the big premiere tonight. Um, Rachel, what did you find appealing about playing Sam? You know what? I really liked Sam's character because even though she sort of goes through a rough patch in her personal life, has a public meltdown, um, she comes out of it and is fully committed to changing her life. And I think it, I just thought it was really respectable and admirable. And um, aside from her just being really fun to play, she was someone that like I think people could look up to in, well, mm -hmm. after post rehab. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so that was really appealing for me. And Eddie, your character, same name as you. Um, did you have to prepare a lot to play an investigator? I mean, I know when you were on Third Watch, you were a firefighter, but this is a bit different. Uh, yeah, no, this is a little different. I played cops before, <laughs> um, but this one mm -hmm. particularly, he, he was an LAPD detective, and so I was fortunate enough, I have one of my closest friends uh, is also an LAPD detective. Um, he's a lieutenant for the LAPD, and he took me out, and, and they, have, they have a different way of, of training than, than other um, police departments, uh, sorry, different protocols on how to handle weapons and draw a weapon and all that. Mm -hmm. So we, we, did a couple, we did a couple days of doing that, and uh, he, he kind of led me through that. So that kind of helped on the show when I have to, you know, draw my weapon. So when people are saying it, that's kind of like what an LAPD person would do uh, rather than, you know, somebody from New York or, you know, Ohio mm -hmm. or wherever. And so that, that, that was helpful to just bring some level of authenticity to, to the role. Um, and then you know, besides that, it's, uh, you know, I, I, what I like about the character is, you know, he has, for me, a really strong moral compass. Uh, he always does the right thing, even to his detriment. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's very respectable in that way. Um, and then the, the dynamic that they have with each other, will they or won't they, uh, throughout the series, mm -hmm. that's going to be fun for viewers, I hope. Mm -hmm. And will we see any romantic advances this season, or is that something you think will get shoved off uh, further down the line? That's a good question. We don't know yet. <laughs> we don't know yet. Yeah, we don't know yet. <laughs> they so don't tell us. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And if there were, we can't tell you. So you'll have to watch. <laughs> I got to try a little bit. Um, <laughs> okay, so the executive producers of Castle are the ones working at, behind this show, and I read that there could be some potential crossover elements. Can you speak a little about that, either of you? Crossover? Yeah. Well, I, th I, I heard that, too. Um, it, it hasn't happened mm -hmm. yet, but there there's some discussion, too, about bringing some of the characters that were in Castle to kind mm -hmm. of, um, you know, they, they can because those characters still, the characters themselves are still out there living in that kind of world. And, and there are scenarios where they could, they could jump into yeah. uh, our world uh, with a case or something like that. So we'll see. There was see. an actor who came on as a different character from Castle, which is kind of Oh, fun. that's true. Yeah, there was an actor yeah, that came Not on to play a different Not a crossover, but the same character but the same Castle. actor, which yeah. was fun. And he was great. He yeah, was really he was fun really in good. that episode. So you'll see that for the Castle fans, they'll, they'll see that, um, which, will be, which will be fun for them. And, you know, it is very similar in the concept, I guess, to Castle, but what, what's different about it that you think the fans of that show might really find exciting? You get her. <laughs> <laughs> That's well what's played. different. That's what's different and exciting. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, it's, there's definite similarities. It's obviously different professions, and um, the cases, I'm sure, are a little different. Yeah, it's a different world. I think uh, you yeah. know, with with uh, with with our world, in being a private investigator, you're not really shackled you know, with the constraints of, of being um, like uh, the procedures that police departments have to go through. Uh, so we have a little more freedom to do things that they wouldn't have. So it gets us. Uh, it, it allows us to get into situations that they wouldn't particularly get into. Yeah. And then in incorporating her world as being an actress from Hollywood, and, and she's famous. Everywhere we go, mm -hmm. somebody recognizes her, and so either that helps or that doesn't help. Uh, but that's a whole different world too. So that dynamic is is different. And what is it like playing a famous actress when you pretty much are a famous actress? <laughs> um, <laughs> am I? Uh, uh, you know, it's fun playing an actor on a show, um, mm -hmm. and and even as a you know shadowing a PI, she gets to play characters in the show, like an actor playing an actor. So it just like <laughs> keeps going and it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. All right, well thank you both so much. We can't wait for the big premiere and congratulations on the show. Thanks so thank much. Thank you.